SmackDown was a really heavy segment, uh, promo segment, angle, bloodline saga show. Yeah. The first segment, I think it went till about 35 minutes in on the show. With 37 the, minutes. With the trial of Roman Reigns and Jay and, and Jimmy showed a video package of Roman being power hungry and rude and pie facing everybody. And uh, Roman said, you know, you're setting me up. I'm not like that all the time. You guys kind of make me that way. And so he portrayed as a, a po- almost a being apologetic, and he gets down, and he takes his necklace off, and he's about to put it on Jay. And then he gives him a low blow, and uh, they beat the heck out of Jimmy. Jimmy goes to the hospital, and then the segment coming back at the end of the show is uh, they fight again. They're, they're just fighting like crazy, Jay and Solo and, and Roman. And then Jay challenges him for a match, which is uh, SummerSlam, right? SummerSlam main event, yeah, for the title. What did you think of the I, whole thing? I I haven't watched that show because I okay. did not watch anything last night. So I didn't watch that and I didn't watch... Um, I'm going to watch all that tomorrow morning. But, um, you know, I mean, I saw it. I know... I mean, I saw the, you know, all the, all the stuff on it and... and I've heard it was very well received. I know that uh, they did the biggest gate in uh, SmackDown history in the United States, the second biggest, second or third biggest ever. Um, you know, I mean, the biggest outside of the UK in the history of SmackDown. So um, they're on fire, as as we we all know. And um, you know, SummerSlam is, I, it's it's really interesting because this is a pretty loaded SummerSlam lineup. And they're already at uh, about 42,000 tickets in. So um, I'm really interested to see how much in the last month they can move now that they've got the lineup intact. You know, and it's just, and again, Roman Reigns and Jay is a big match. And then, you know, the rest of it, you know, Trish Stratus and, um, and uh, Becky Lynch has been built up since really, you know, just after WrestleMania or whatever. And um, Brock Lesnar and Cody, you know, has been built up since you know the day after wrestlemania i think and um you know it's match three probably a gimmick match and uh you know just like a, a lot of a lot of other stuff on that show you know um uh, drew mcintyre and gunther coming off of their wrestlemania three-way which was one of the better matches in wrestlemania history and uh you know it's a pretty loaded up uh loaded up show um what's it uh Charlotte Flair. Well, they're, they're going to do. They're doing uh, Oscar and Bianca to set up Oscar, Charlotte, and Bianca um, three way for SummerSlam. I believe is is the way that that angle is going. And um, what the, what's the other stuff that's happening there? Rhea Ripley and um, Raquel. Well, they're not there yet, but that that match was penciled in. Shayna uh, and Ronda. Shayna and Ronda, of course. Yeah, um, which. You know, they're best friends. They really want to wrestle. Yeah. It's unfortunate because I think if they had some time, that they could have probably done some really cool stuff, but you just want to like, it, it, we, we all know off sides and let's, start, let's do this differently because it's, yeah, it's, it's just, they're, they're just going to run they're, through they're, everything in a couple of weeks. They're running, they're, they're, running through, they're running through the clock because it was just things worked out the way they did. Um, you know, Ronda got hurt at an, at an inopportune time and they didn't get the championship reign that they were plan to get um and then they rushed through it and you know the turn came out of nowhere uh, i think somebody told me it was either paul or ryan that's who i talk mma with did misha call out ronda did you hear that um i i have heard ronda's name batted around i didn't you know if, if she did i did not hear that you know um i've been you know, following pretty close until the, 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 like two days ago, but uh, um, so I haven't heard that. But um, I'm sure that would, you know, I mean, look, it's Misha's big rival. I don't see Ronda fighting again. And I don't see any reason why she should fight again. There's no, I, if I was her, there's I no, there's no boogie woman uh, Amanda Nunez there anymore. Doesn't matter, you know, Ronda. You know, I mean, just that's she moves on. You know, I mean, she. She never went back to judo either. You know, um, she never went back to swimming. That's just how she is. I mean, she, she may go back to WWE, but that's, you know, who knows? Maybe she won't. I don't know. So just go back to the the, the uh, trial thing. Um, 
I think I thought the best part was the end. Uh, Jay had a ton of emotion just in his face and his body after challenging Roman. Um, that that whole thing, it did feel long. I thought the first segment, like it, it felt like it slightly overstayed its welcome, but. At the same time, so many people are into that. I don't know if they would have felt the same way that I did. Um, uh, the rest of the show, like the, the Edge beat Grayson Waller in his uh, SmackDown debut. I thought that was interesting. Uh, yeah, was well, they, off, they, off they, of that they, segment. They, they still have that idea that that um, if you get beat by a star, somehow you are seen as a bigger star because you were in the ring with them. Um, and sometimes that's, you know, depending on how the match works and everything, sometimes that's the case. But yeah. Um, I was kind of wondering how, if Waller knew in advance that he was wrestling, because he didn't look like he was in the same body shape as I remember him being in NXT. And I know he's well, he, 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 had, he had an injury and everything like that. I was surprised that he wrestled because I, I didn't think he was going to be back this soon. Uh, Theory beat Sheamus with a roll-up. Uh, pretty Deadly and Ridge and Butch all came out. Uh, they did some uh, Madison Square Garden video packages. I think they did three of them where they showed a lot of the moments in the history. There was some Bruno stuff in there. Hogan, they were photos. They weren't actual video. Hogan and Andre, Bruno stuff. Uh, AJ beat Cross with the Phenomenal Forearm. Uh, they sped through an Asuka interview. She... Came out, laughed, and then immediately Bianca well, ran down. Well, a lot of the show was sped up because the first segment went way, way, way over. Um, so they were trying to cut time, you know, because they didn't want the last segment to uh, be running up against the clock. So they were cutting. Everybody was getting cut during that show. Yeah, so Bianca runs out. They fight. Charlotte runs out. Asuka attacks both. EO comes out with Bailey. Hits a moonsault. Bailey tries to cash. She's interrupted by Bianca. Charlotte I mean, takes out Io. Io tries to cash, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ba- yeah. Bailey set up the cash, uh, I should say. Yeah. Um, but uh, but yeah. So it was like it, it was like a, a cool segment that just was in like fast forward the entire time. Uh, and then that that was really it. That was like all, everything that happened was uh, was was that. I'm so. at a Father's Day retreat. We were going to go camping today, but uh, suffice to say, the weather was not uh, suitable for camping with these two youngsters, and so we rented this cabin here instead. Bug. God damn it. Eat it. Sorry. Eat it. I'm not going to eat it. That happened the last time. I swallowed a bug. I hope ah. it was a big one. Ah. Mm. My wife is asking what happened. And, and I you ate explained. a bug. Come on in, Pace. Why don't you come say hi to everybody? What is all over your face? Oh, my God. That's my child. Hey, Hannah, come in here. Say hi to everybody. Do you got s'mores all over your face, kid? Why don't you come over here and say hi? What do you want to say? No. Yeah, I don't know. Get out of here. All right. Well, that was fun. Hey, listen, we're going to be back on Tuesday. NWA TNA episode one. Right, Hannah? <laughs> She's acting like a child. All right. Well, that's it, everybody. Yes, Faze? Uh, oh. Okay, get out of here. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.